Hello guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm not a flag 19 here and today we are playing Rogue Lineage. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys or telling you guys how you can obtain Abyss Walker in the current state of Rogue. Because when I was getting Abyss Walker, some information on the wiki wasn't really working out, so <clears throat> It's gonna be a quick video, just you know, updating you guys on how to get up this walker. The first step is to get warrior, max warrior, obviously, to get warlord. So when you are um, obtaining or want to go a chaotic or orderly class or any class in general, you should just get the basics down first. And with that being said, max out warrior and then get 15 grips to get warlord class to be able to get warlord class so maxing out warrior would take 140 silver and warlord you have to buy the skill to be able to purchase the great sword first so when you buy the skill from the warlord trainer you'll be able to purchase the great sword there'll be a great sword in the cave but that is literally the same great sword you see at war's fall the model looks different, but when you buy it, it's the same greatsword. The only difference is that Orsfall, the greatsword there, costs 30 silver, and the greatsword in the cave, the Warlord Trainer cave, costs 60 silver, so it's safer to get it in the cave, but more risky to get it in Orsfall like every other weapon. But you know, it's cheaper. So after you get Max Warlord, and Like, once you get Max Warlord, and you have um, extra kills on Z Scrum, so you need some XP on Z Scrums, so that you can get the Talk to Endress, you have to do that. And just Trinket Farm. Buy the Ranger Armor, the one you can find in Renova or Elena, and you buy that. You um, go to Tundra. And then go all the way to Snails Inn, and then buy Tundra Ranger. Once you have that, you can um, go back to the tree. It's gonna be a checkpoint. And you can go max climb, obviously. Train your climb to get max, max climb. And you can go the, um, to Enverse and you talk to him to get the orderly grips, the two orderly grips. So I had a problem here. When I went back, I actually had to fight a howler, double checking to see if I accepted the quest or not. I got an alt to orderly 20 it, I knew I know like not new like it had 20 or more orderly I did a lot of orderly quests but that didn't suffice the wiki says you need 20 plus orderly to get the skulls on grip but I would recommend 25 plus orderly or 30 because I had to get a little bit more orderly on that alt account and when you're gripping i don't recommend gripping in scrimville because you know other scrims might be gripping there and if i can i might show you guys a clip i was um getting grips after i got the skulls oh so after you guys get the skulls you have to do a purple torch quest but so you go to enabris again he'll give you a torch a purple torch make sure it doesn't go out or else you will have to go all the way back to Enebris to get the torch again. The purple torch, you have to take all the way to the Sea of Dust on top of that church and light it. So I did this with a couple of my friends. They were helping protect me. We didn't run into anyone on the way. And then I jumped into the abyss. A tip for you guys when you guys are doing this quest, trying to get abyss walker, and you light the purple candle, record as you're jumping into the abyss or you can just climb all the way down and climb into the abyss there's there's a part on the right so when you go to the church and you turn back to the cave and look on the right there's a place you can climb down To 
climb into the abyss actually climb down into the abyss i recommend you do that because when you jump into the abyss there's a bug that could occur which could make your character die to fall damage but he will get transported to the all dark but he'll die from a glitch you can get a restore but you don't want to go through the hassle of getting a restore when you could easily just take it the safe way and climb down so after you do that you talk to the embers in the all dark he'll give you a base walker combat and we're getting the skills you need 60 grips in total not 60 plus not anymore you just need 60 grips in total so you already have 15 grips to get the great sword plus two grips from the orderly grips so you'll have about 18 grips and you just need a couple more so after you get those grips i can show you a clip right now i'm probably gonna show you guys a clip of me fighting a hacker during my 60 grips. I was uh, doing some scrim grips. I'll show you guys a recording of that. So after you get the scrim grips, or hopefully you saw the clip of uh, me fighting that hacker, you go back to Enverse and you talk to him to get all your skills. There's three skills in total, one passive, two actives, Wrathful Leap and Abyssal Scream. Yeah, 500. So those are really good. Abyssal Scream, when you use it, and in Radius, it gives everyone a curse stack, including yourself. And a Wrathful Leap, hit the ground, and anyone in the radius of that um, black dust or whatever it was, Abyss Dust or something, they will get a curse stack. Not you. So when you're fighting, be mindful of the Abyssal Scream because it, you could potentially kill yourself putting too much curse stacks on yourself so just be aware and don't forget to have a cow because you don't want to be hunted down by dragon sages and the armor costs 750 silver and the sword costs uh, seven, 200 silver so make sure you have about a thousand silver if you want to get all your items as an abyss walker right now i'm farming for the abyssal great sword and that's all that I could that I could say right now. So some tips I could give you guys when you're fighting as an abyss walker is to just use your first M ones, and if they're blocking, you can use your M two to block block break them. Your wrathful leap, they can block it, so be mindful of that. And when you're being attacked by a shinobi and they use um, Bane, I think it's called, the move where they uh, teleport to you like a hacker, but they're not. You can use Shoulder Bash, a Warlord skill, right timing, and you can knock them out. And the knockback is like really big. So you can run away, buy time to do a Wrath Leap away, or climb away, whatever you guys can do. And I recommend, if you guys haven't already gotten a Sigil Helmet, I already had a helmet before um, 
I was doing the Abyss quest, but my I fell into the Abyss, got wiped, so they can only restore lives, bots, and I didn't get that uh, sit, um, helmet back. So right now, I'm just going to save up for my greatsword, and then start getting orderly, so I can go get um, a sigil helmet. I recommend you guys do that as well, because having a sigil helmet early on is going to, or getting it, is going to be harder for you to get chaotic. So, all in all, Abyss Walker, it's not a hard class to get, but it's really tedious, and a bunch of people love to mess you up. Getting 25 plus orderly on an alt is no joke, you have to play that alt like it's your main, and really that's all. This is just like an update because most of the how to get Abyss Walker videos on YouTube are like a year ago and things have changed so this is just like an update video from my experience on getting a Biswalker. If you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a comment like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching man see you guys in the next one.